Hey there folks, back out on the, my one of my favourite beaches. One where I found some uh, pre decimals the other day in the Silva. Uh, back here again, just for a couple of hours in the afternoon. Just spur of the moment thing. Well yeah, why not? Right, let's go find some in. If I, see, if I find a good signal, sorry, I'll get back to you. Right, I've come straight to the area of this beach where there's pre decimals, so you never know, I might find one. Um, this is a brass screw end or something. Good signal though. Right. Alright, next target. It's a scratchy one. Oh my god, look. Oh, could this be? Already? Get in, get in there! Silver! Oh, it's not. It's not silver. Oh, for a second I thought it was silver. 1948 sixpence. Cooper nickel. Georgia six. Oh, look at the condition. They are still cool there. Pre-decimal. Second target. That's not bad. Happy with that. Shame it's not silver, but that's just the way things are. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It's like looks like a some kind of a metal ruler, all bent over. I'll clean it up when I get home, and uh, we'll have a proper look. Interesting. Oh, I've been finding a few old brass nails, and uh, I just found this. Oh yeah, it is a coin. Got that green stuff all over it. Yeah. Don't know what it is yet. Could be just a 10p. But we'll clean that up later and uh, we'll reveal what it is. Hang on. Let's see if we can do that again. Oh, it's a half penny, I think. Okay. Yeah, I just found something else. Uh, so it's like brass. Maybe part of a toy, an old toy. Nah, I don't know. Well, it's been a little while since I had a decent target. And then I find this. Pound coin. Happy with that. Looks like another. Looks like another coin, maybe. Hopefully, I did find a big round chunky brass thing just now. I'll clean it up later if I get time. Football's on in a little while. What could this be? Looks coin shaped. It's crusty. Oh, it's got crusty bits on it. Oh, there's a something there. Might be a little doggy taggy or something like that. I didn't bring my brush with me. I'm quite annoyed. It might be a coin with a hole in it, you know. A copper coin. Don't know. I'll stick it in the lemon juice later and see what comes up. Well, looks like an earring to me. Hopefully it's silver. Can't go home in a minute anyway, so I'll uh, wait till I get home to clean that because I don't have my brush. Well, hopefully it is silver. Hmm. Cool. Alright guys, I'm back home. I had to come home quick because the football's on soon. England playing. So, uh, yeah, I've got a few bits. I washed this off under the tap just now. I don't know what it is, like a solid bit of brass though. So I've got to focus. 
Yeah, not sure what it used to be top of a screwy in thing. It's quite heavy. Um, I won't, I'll just put that in the scrap bucket. Yeah, I found a few odds and sods there. I will be putting stuff in some uh, lemon juice in a minute. Uh, that there, I, that's that round thing I mentioned earlier. I, I was going to chuck it out. I think that was a, might be the back of uh, the bottom end of a uh, shell, shell case. So I'll bung that in, in the pot. Yeah, there's that 1948 Cooper Nipical sixpence. Still nice to find a bit of uh, pre decimal. That, don't know what it is. Looks like it's got hole in it, so I'll put that in there as well. I'm pretty sure that's, I can see just about make out HMS Golden Hind, which says that it's probably, if that's what it is, a half penny. I reckon that is, yeah. So we'll put that in there as well. And um, we'll see if we can get that any shinier, which I doubt it, but there's a two pounds. Right, oh, this, uh, I'll just wash this under the tap, the earring. Yeah, the black thing came off. So that's plastic, so I'm saying that's probably bling. But we'll put it in the lemon juice, just to make sure there's no all marks on it, but I don't think there is going to be. So we'll put that in there. Bear with me a sec. Oh, got it. Oh, opening up lemon juice here. I've just squirted it all over myself. Ow. Oh my god, it's gone everywhere. <laughs> hang on. I'll put you down, hang on. Ow. God, his lid's on, lad. Right. There we go. The lemon juice. And that'll get rid of all that black stuff that's on there. There we have it. Right, I'll see you shortly. Right, this is the final roundup. Um, I've been soaking everything, well, all of this stuff in, uh, this stuff here, in lemon juice uh, whilst I watch the football. Uh, that, sadly, is bling. It's not silver. But still, it's a piece of jewellery. Uh, these bits, just rubbish. That there is not um, the bottom of a shell. I think it's, it's, it looks like a lid, maybe to an old pepper pot. I don't know. Uh, there's used to be a like a hinge there. It's copper. Um, so yeah, what do you reckon, pepper pot? Um, it's this one here. Nineteen forty-five half penny. I could have cleaned it up more, but it's you know. Is what it is. Yeah, nice two pound coin. Cleaned up really well with the help of this. It's a fibre pen. Um, that little round thing is a little doggy tag. Um, a dog called Peter. There is an address on the back, so I'll pop that in the post, return it to the owner. Uh, might have sentimental value, especially if the pet has died. Uh, this look at the condition of this uh, again. I just washed it off and I used the fiber pen to buff it up. It's very gentle, that fiber pen. And 1948 sixpence, copper nickel, but that's still the best find of the day, I think. Awesome, and we've got some junky bits there. That's a big chunk of brass that will go in the brass pot. Um, and a clay pipe. Finding quite a few of those now down there. So that's it. Yeah, a couple of hours out. Uh, quite enjoyed myself. If you like what you saw, please do give my video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Really do appreciate that. And until the next one, I shall see you then.